Hey everybody, how are y'all doing today? Good, good to see you. Welcome to my channel. want to say hi to everybody. I recently got a letter from uh, Britain Y. And he wanted to ask me, I guess, uh, Britain, hey, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. I got the letter from you talking about uh, what's what are good collectibles and all that kind of stuff, what I should get into. So I hopefully have, let me get resettled here, hopefully have read uh, your message correctly and um, maybe this will help you out. But uh, with collecting, there's all kinds of stuff you can collect. There's just a lot of good stuff out there. As a, as a collector, just purchase stuff for you that you're really interested in. Don't don't buy stuff to feel as if you're going to make financial gain and uh, live on a big estate or have a yacht or something like that, retiring. It's just not going to happen. So retirement isn't going to happen for that of collecting Beatles stuff. So when you collect, collect to enjoy, to buy, to listen, or have fun yourself. So let me start off with Sgt. Pepper. And I'm not doing this because we're talking about Sgt. Pepper, but I'm doing this because... Um, this is actually my favorite album. Sgt. Pepper is my album. So this week with the box set coming out and all the stuff coming on and going on about Sgt. Pepper, I'm, I'm absolutely beside myself. So, you know, this is exciting, uh, for me. So, and this is a British copy, as you can see. So, Sgt. Pepper means a lot for me and a lot of excitement. So, if you want to start collecting vinyl, that's great. Um, you can check around, see if you have any local... What I'm going to show you is basically American stuff. And I showed you a British copy of Sgt. Pepper. But, uh, you know, I don't know where you live or where you, where you are or any of that. So, check around, see if you've got any local record stores. Check online to see if you've got any record shows that are close by. Um, lots of times you can find good deals in thrift shops. You know, just because you end up buying a, a junky 45 that's kind of missing the sleeve or whatever, just doesn't mean that uh, that's the only thing that you've bought. And maybe someday as years go on, you'll find it again and it'll be an upgrade. So there's plenty of things I've bought that were extremely cheap. And then a couple of years later, I found it again with the picture sleeve or I found the album in better shape. So lots of times, don't feel as if, uh, <coughs> excuse me, don't feel as if, well, you know, you're watching us as collectors. Well, I've been collecting since 75. And back then, when you were collecting, albums weren't that expensive, and collectibles weren't that expensive. And as you can see behind me, i got all kinds of stuff all around me. But, you know, when you were collecting, the vinyl was the important thing. And I love the vinyl. But, uh, you know, if you can only afford the CD, buy the CD now. You know, give that a listen. But my first recommendation for you to buy, if you want to buy a CD or buy the album, is Sgt. Pepper. And then to follow up, I'd buy Abbey Road. Abbey Road is actually phenomenal. This... I don't think you can go wrong with any Beatles album, really, to tell you the truth, unless you buy Beatles Story. <laughs> uh, yeah. Beatles Story was definitely a period album for 64. It was for the hype of Beatlemania, and at that time, you know, there's no internet, there's no, you know, communication to be able, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, Beatles Story is just a good album to... Uh, to have for that period at the time of 64, you know, to say when John was asked, you know, when Paul thought about this, it was kind of a good period album. But now, today, we think it's really bad and really lame, which, yeah, I guess it is. But, it, you know, for that time, it's kind of fun. But anyway, I'm talking about Beatles Story as an example because that album was done for the period of the time. So, if you want to buy CDs, that's great. You know, buy a couple CDs. Uh, you can find them sometimes, like I said, at thrift stores, pretty cheap. Tell you what, another good place to start looking is maybe go to good, Goodwill or um, Salvation Armies, if you guys have those. Um, I know for where I live, like uh, me, Mr. Mayo, he's got a fantastic Goodwill and all of that. Mine are junk, so I never find anything in mine. 
Uh, Beetle Vinyl 185 has a good goodwill that he talks about that he finds stuff. I I look in the record section, and they're asking 50 cents for the records, and I think that's high because they're all split, and you know most of the records are missing or the records aren't the correct record inside it. Um, so mine are junk, but maybe yours are a lot better than mine are. And another place you might want to look around is flea markets. There are some very good flea markets around town, or maybe you have to travel to go out of town to uh, hit a good flea market. Um, I certainly have done that. I'm getting ready to go to a record show, and it's five hours away. Um, but it's one of the better ones around in my area. And it's only twice a year. So, you know, I've been saving up and getting ready for that. So I'm, I'm saving up to go to it. Um, you know, I'm not just walking in with 20 bucks in my pocket or something like that. I've been saving up for it and looking forward to it. So, but then, you know, you start getting into more expensive collectibles. Um, this is, actually, this is a flat. This is the uh, flat that went over the uh, Butcher album for yesterday and today. Um, I'm going to shock a lot of you. I don't have a Butcher album. I've got all the reproductions and the anniversary ones. Financially, I... I don't have the Butcher album because financially I can't afford it, to tell you the truth. You know, I can't afford to put out 8000 or 5000 or even 10000 for a stereo uh, Butcher copy. Or even a mono at $2,000. Um, I just can't afford it. So I'm happy to have, I bought, like I said, some of the other ones. And this is the, the flat that went on top of the uh, album when this album came out. And then this was pasted over. That's how it came out. But um, anyway, so that's that's very pricey. So this is this is the flat that went over it. So you know, and then you start getting into uh, more and more expensive things. I recently went to my record store and I got this. I've already got one, but this was kind of fun just to add to my collection to have another one because this was a dollar. So you know, there we go. You know, that's 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 only a dollar. I I can justify buying something like that to where it's a hard time financially because of, you know, my wife and, and other payments in life, you know, car payments, everything else. I would rather sleep at night knowing that I'm okay financially taking care of them being stressed out and buying stuff just to show it on video or just to uh, have it in my collection. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people that have probably got a whole lot more money than I do. And if you do, you know, great for you. The Lord has blessed you in financial ways, and that's great. I mean, the Lord's taking care of me, but I'm just uh, buying what I'm buying now and then. I'm not going crazy and going in debt, because I, like I said, I like to sleep at night. <laughs> I like to enjoy my sleep. So, you know, you start getting into collections, um, like these. These are two different DVDs. There's this one, and then there's this one. You know, there's a lot of Beetle bootlegs out there that are on DVD. Um, let me show you the back of these. And these are great to have. Um, you could you can enjoy watching DVDs at your own home and and see stuff that you haven't seen, like this one. You know, this has got a lot of really good rare promo videos. See, it's got videos and TV show appearances to where this is live. There we go, that's live. You know, so that's got some neat, real neat stuff. So, you know, if you want to go to the DVD route, um, there's websites where you can buy DVDs or you can go to record shows, like I said again. Um, sometimes they show up there at, at shows. Let's see, and then, you know, then you start going crazy like me. And uh, I got this. This is probably one of my biggest prized possessions I got. And I got this years ago. This is George Harrison, Ravi Shankar. This is their autographs. So then you start going into different collections. This is one of my prized pieces. Because it's a signed autograph by George and Ravi. So, you know, there's just there's almost just no end in purchasing or collecting but you know do what you can do what you can afford do what you can do financially or just for fun um 
I mean, I even have these. I've got all the complete of the Beatles bubblegum cards. This is for the Hard Day's Night series. And these were fun to get. It took me years to complete them. It took me years to, to get them all. But that was kind of the fun of the chase, you know, was to get all of these and to complete all of these. I've got all of them, you know, all the, all the original Beetle bubblegum cards and, and uh, you know, if you want to see more of that, you can take a look at one of my videos, number 40. 40 through 45, I think it is. So this is just maybe a little helpful thing for uh, you, Britain, um, and even those of you that are watching that are just starting off collecting. Uh, just because you watch our channels of some of the big people that are the big collectors, don't think that we started collecting all of this last week and just started dropping big money to buy all kinds of stuff. At least, at least I didn't. Um, also, Britton asked me another question: Is why do I have so many different copies? So, like, I've got yesterday and today. Uh, and yesterday and today again. So let me answer your question about this. This is on Orange. Uh, first off, the Beatle albums came out on Apple. And then towards the later years, um, they came out on the Orange in the, in the early, well, mid-70s. Mid and then, then they went to Purple in 76 through on then. But um, this is kind of mid-70s. So they had different pressings. So if you can find this with the rainbow, which I forgot to bring it, but I do have this with the rainbow, which is a circle here with the rainbow. That's the first pressing. That's a really good one to get. And then, like I said, then it goes to apple, and then orange, and then purple, and um, I can't remember what it is after that, but it kind of changed around. But if you can find a good, clean pressing of an album, that's good. You know, that's great to have that one in your collection. Um, so back to this. Uh, this album is very good. This is American Yesterday and Today, like I showed. And this one is a Japanese pressing of Yesterday and Today. See, it's got the Obi, which is on the side here. And these are just better sound quality. Um, for those of you that know what I'm talking about, the Japanese sound quality is just by far better than any other one out there, as you all know. There's, there's some fantastic... Japanese Beatle albums and they're terrific. So that's why I have many copies and a lot of the collectors that are watching me have a lot of copies. Because uh, Back then with the vinyl you had different sound. Unlike CD you really don't have a lot of different sound. Um, you'll hear some different stuff in some of them but not to where it's absolutely mind-blowing. Um, to where on vinyl you get you get different sounds from copies from Germany Japan, England, France, and I've got them from all over everywhere. And back then, when you listened to vinyl, you could hear stuff in between them. Like, you know, at the beginning of them, you hear, you hear Paul going, one, two, three, four, you know, and you know, you hear him, you know, counting off or you hear something like you'd hear him going five, you know. And that was kind of neat in the vinyl to where when CD came out, a lot of that was erased and taken out because it was considered mistakes which it was, but back then it was really cool to hear it. Um, so that was kind of fun with vinyl. So a lot of us push vinyl because it's just, it's just a richer sound. It sounds better than CD. When you buy CDs, CDs are compact discs. So they are... Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to do my video, but my dog just walked in and made a snarly, grucky, yuck noise. <laughs> <laughs> hey puppy I don't know if y'all heard that you might have, you might have not but he he just made a loud groping noise but anyway, here, let me pet his head he's, he's a good dog, his name's Bentley <laughs> so anyway, I don't know exactly where I was but um, so CDs were compact and that's what they are, CDs, they're compact so the sound is pushed together and the quality's not as good um, so that's why I kind of would stick with vinyl if it was me, if you're collecting. And then you start getting into box sets. Start purchasing stuff like this that are the box sets. These are fun to have. Um, and then you can just start collecting other stuff. You never know. You may run across, like behind me, the uh, Beetle dolls and Beetle figures, which are fun to just have. Um, but like I said, you know... I wouldn't collect it just to feel as if you're going to make a big sum of money and be able to retire on that yacht. 
Um, can I see a hand of uh, those that are watching my video from a big luxury lot? Yacht? <laughs> can't, even, can't even talk. <laughs> or also big lot? Yeah, we just don't have it. You know, we collect it because we love it. We have fun with it. And uh, so, Britain, you know, I hope this answers your question. I appreciate you typing and asking me. Uh, definitely, this was a lot of fun to just kind of say of some of the collectibles that I've got. Some of the things that you can start off, like I said, some of the stuff behind me um, that I've gotten. Piggy banks of the Beatles. Um, my issue with me is I enjoy the albums a lot, but I really, really dig the vinyl. Or the vinyl I'd really like, but I really dig the... the um, DVDs, I was going to grab them again. I've got a lot of DVDs of Beatles stuff and just tons of outtakes of them in studio or concerts, and that's fun to watch. So I really enjoy that a lot, you know, and, you know as opposed to listening to my albums. That's great. Um, so there's all kinds of collectibles. You know, I'm looking around, just looking around my room. You know, there's posters you can buy, T-shirts. Um, I'm wearing one of the Beetle t-shirts. You can purchase t-shirts for fun. Um, so there's really no end to uh, what you can buy. But if you can only afford to buy a record at a thrift shop, shop for right now, then buy that. Let me know what you bought. Um, so, Britain, I'd be real curious to hear what you bought and what, what's your first purchase, or maybe even your third purchase. Um, maybe you found a fantastic copy of Meet the Beatles and that's your prized possession. If that's it, if you got it at Goodwill, hey, that's great. You know, enjoy it, play it, you will love it. I mean, Meet the Beatles is fantastic, so you'll have fun with that. But let me know, uh, the rest of you, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video as well. But uh, I know I've gone way too long, but I hope I kind of made my point of, uh, you can't collect it all. <laughs> That's for sure. A lot of people show videos and they've got other stuff that I've never even seen before. And like I said, I've been collecting for years. <coughs> Excuse me. So, to, uh, to end my video, I just wanted to say thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Let me know what you thought of this. If you're just starting on collecting and this video helped you too on collecting, then great. Then I have really served my purpose in doing videos is to... Uh, show you all of the stuff I've got, but just to show you my stuff to say, yes, the vinyl is out there and the vinyl is fantastic, but here's different copies and here's different sounds and different albums that you can buy of, of Let It Be or Hey Jude album or Revolver. So let me know what you think. Let me know, uh, as I keep rambling on, let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought of it all. And I appreciate uh, all those of you that are my new subscribers. Hey, good to see y'all. I enjoy getting your comments. I enjoy typing back to you. <laughs> Always do something silly and crazy and mess up. And hey, that's half the fun because I'm human. I make mistakes. I don't edit them out. You, what you, as Flip Wilson says, as what you see is what you get. And that's me, babe. I mean, I'm, I'm just as truthful and showing all the stuff and being fair and having a lot of fun doing it because I'm sharing my collection with you. So thank you, Britton. I appreciate you taking time out and asking the question. I hope this answers, answered it for you. All right, Vinyl Community, take care. I'm out of here. See ya.